Have you ever wondered how ancient civilizations healed their sick without the aid of modern medicine? They turned to nature, to the bountiful forests and the whispering winds. They believed in the power of the earth and its resources. One such civilization, the indigenous tribes of the Amazon, relied heavily on their surroundings. Their healing methods are a testament to their deep connection with nature and spirituality. One such method is the use of plant spirit medicine, a practice deeply rooted in the Amazonian shamanic tradition. Imagine stepping into the world of an Amazonian shaman, a healer who communicates with the spirits of plants to treat ailments. This is not a path chosen lightly, for the journey to becoming a shaman is fraught with trials and tribulations. From a young age, potential shamans are identified through dreams or signs, and they embark on a rigorous training process, often under the guidance of a seasoned shaman. Their education is immersive, a deep dive into the vast knowledge of the rainforest and its countless species. It's a lesson in humility, respect, and interconnectedness, a testament to the profound bond between man and nature. At the heart of this training lies ayahuasca, a potent brew with psychoactive properties. It's more than just a plant. It's a teacher, a guide, leading the shaman on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual awakening. Ingesting ayahuasca is not a casual affair. It's a sacred ritual, steeped in tradition and reverence. As the brew takes effect, the shaman slips into a trance-like state, connecting with the spirits of the plants. Visions unfold, truths are revealed, and the shaman emerges with a deeper understanding of the universe and their place within it. Through this sacred bond with nature, the shaman becomes a bridge between the physical world and the spiritual realm, channeling healing energies to those in need. This is the shaman's journey, a testament to the power and wisdom of the Amazon rainforest. Now, consider the patient, embarking on a healing journey that goes beyond the physical realm. They step into a world where the tangible and the ethereal intertwine, guided by the shaman's chants and the rhythmic drumbeats. The healing ritual is more than just ingesting the brew of ayahuasca. It is a spiritual voyage where the patient confronts their deepest fears and insecurities. Through the lens of plant spirit medicine, they experience a profound connection with nature, a symbiotic relationship that is far from the mechanistic approach of Western medicine. Here, healing is not just about curing a disease or alleviating a symptom. It's about restoring harmony, balance, it's a holistic endeavor that encompasses the mind, the body, and the spirit, integrating them into a cohesive whole. The transformation is often profound, the patient emerging from the ritual not just healed, but fundamentally changed. For the patient, this journey is not just about healing the body, but also about healing the mind and the spirit. So what does this ancient wisdom from the rainforest teach us? It underscores the significance of recognizing and revering traditional healing practices. It uncovers the potential benefits these methods hold, while also cautioning us of their limitations. It calls for further exploration, for there's so much more that the rainforest keeps veiled. Perhaps the most important lesson is that healing is a holistic process, connecting the body, mind, and spirit, a wisdom that the Amazon rainforest has been whispering to us for centuries.